Hey everyone, I'm the Lecture Dude, and welcome to my Intro to Linear Algebra. I'm going to just go over the basics of Linear Algebra right now, get, give you a good foundation for what you're getting into. So, Linear Algebra, as the name implies, is just about lines. Lines in the format X, Y, Z, A, B, C, whatever. You have lines in this format, so 3x plus 4y equals 6, 2x plus y equals 9. But linear algebra wants to work with lots of lines, lots and lots of lines. So what we need is we need a format for working with large sets of numbers, namely this format. How we simplify into this format is we take this equation, uh, these sets of equations. Notice that they both have an x, they both have a y, so let's just simplify that and take that out. So what we get is all the numbers, we're putting this in something called a matrix. Matrix is just a box of data that you can, uh, that makes it really easy to visualize the numbers. And then we took out the X and Y, so we have to make sure that they're still in. So, another matrix with X and Y. Now, notice that this matrix is one column. All right, we call that a vector. A vector is just a one column matrix. It's, it's the same thing. So don't get confused. People are calling things vectors or matrices. It just means one column. And then we make another vector for the answer which is 6, 9. Now notice that this is in the formula we have up here. We have a matrix noted by the capital letter right here. We have an x vector, which is your coordinates, like x and y. We have that right here. And both of those multiply to give you your uh, result vector, which is b. Now, the same thing works for bigger matrices, too, or bigger sets of equations. We only had two there, so let's try one with three. So, something like 6x plus 5y plus 2z equals 12. 8x plus 3y plus 7z equals 29, and x plus 2y plus 9z equals 14. Now, as you can see, this is, we added one more variable, and it always looks, already looks a lot more complicated. So, we want to just simplify this into our nice, simple ax equals b format. So what we do is we set this up and take out the numbers and the variables, just separate them out. So we have 6, 8, 1, those are the x values, 5, 3, 2, those are your y, and 2, 7, 9 for your z. We make sure to include your x, y, and z on the side here, x, y, and z. And then our, we have our b vector, our result vector. And that equals 12, 29, and 14. Now that we have this uh, set of equations into the standard matrix format, now we can do some fun things with it, which I'll go over in the next video.